about four years ago, we did a video all about dish soap and how to use it aside from just using it for your dishes. And since then, I've learned a lot more about dish soap and some very cool uses for it. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you some of those great new uses for dish soap. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel, I give this video a thumbs up if since finding Clean My Space, you too have become obsessed with dish soap. Let's say that you have a squeaky door hinge or a window that's not opening properly, or in our case, our screen door to our backyard was just not opening. And if you don't have WD-40 lying around, you might be wondering, what can I use instead? Well, dish soap is your answer. Just take a little bit and apply it to the squeaky hinge or that stubborn door, whatever it is that's bothering you, and you'll see it starts to slide or not squeak immediately. Now, don't use too much. You don't want dish soap all over the place. Just use enough to make sure that you can get your thing done effectively without making a mess. Now, not that this happens to you every day, but when it does happen and you get a little panicky, dish soap can come to the rescue. Let's say you put too much hair product in your hair, or you've done some sort of oily treatment on your scalp, and it's just not washing out. Well, guess what? Dish soap will save the day. And allow me to do a demonstration for you, because in our last video on dish soap, I put some stuff in Chad's hair, and then I used dish soap to get it out. And you know what, guys? It was so much fun that I just threw this tip in there so I could do it all over again and show you exactly how it works. It's really easy to make your own ice packs and it can be a handy thing to have on hand because you never know when you're gonna need one. All you have to do is grab a zipper lock bag and fill it about three quarters of the way full, throw it in the freezer, and what will start to happen, if you've ever seen those gel ice packs, they don't actually freeze, but they kind of get a little crunchy and they really retain the cool from the freezer. That's exactly what's going to happen with the dish soap. They're super effective, easy to make, and very inexpensive. Amazingly, dish soap can unclog your toilet. And we made a video on this a couple of years ago. It's got well over a million views. The tip itself is incredible, but I think the video when we filmed it, I think I laughed probably the hardest at this video. It's either this or the DIY poo spray, but honestly, anytime there's a toilet situation, I am laughing really hard. So if you guys wanna learn how to unclog your toilet with dish soap, or if you want a really big laugh, check out the video. I've got the link for you down below. And finally, dish soap makes a great DIY countertop cleaner. Now, I know I've talked about this one a lot, but I, I feel like I can't talk about it enough because it is just that good. It saves you so much money and it works so effectively. And I've tested all kinds of different concoctions and this is the recipe I keep going back to. It's just two cups of water, a small squirt of dish soap, something about the size of your thumbnail, maybe half a teaspoon if you're measuring it out. And if you want to get really fancy, you can add in 10 drops of your favorite essential oil. That will probably mask any scent from your dish soap and leave a nice fresh scent of your choosing behind. It works really well on all surfaces that you would use any all-purpose cleaner on. So I use it on my quartz counters. You can use it on marble and granite, laminate. You can use it on wood surfaces. It's just a great general purpose cleaner that's safe, and effective. This week's comment question is, what is your favorite use for dish soap? Whether it's something I talked about in this video, one of the older videos, or a use that you have, I'd love to know about it, so definitely drop it down below. Here are a couple of other videos I think you're going to love, and if you want to learn more about dish soap or anything cleaning related, you can visit cleanmyspace.com. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video, and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.